So yes, you guys, I put monostat. Monostat. Yes, the stuff that people use for yeast infections, which real quick, honestly, um, not that I'm above, I'm not above a yeast infection. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying though is like, I really don't think you should be using monostat for a yeast infection. I'm. I'm really not with the, the, the store-bought brand of things for yeast infections. I'm really not with it, but that's not none of my business and that's also not what this video is about. So yeah, you guys, I use Monistat on my hair for a month and I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It did some things for your girl. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I really think, I really do believe it has some beneficial properties for I don't wanna say hair growth, because when you get into the whole doesn't make your hair grow. Is it really that it's making your hair grow or is it just promoting a healthy scalp? You get what I'm saying? Which then would promote hair growth. You feel me? I really don't even know where to start because I feel like I do kind of need to explain how I got here. At least a little bit, just a, just a tad. So my thing is, the best way I can describe how I got to doing this is, you know how you end up on the weird side of YouTube? You know when you're just browsing? And like there's really no rhyme or reason to why now you are watching elephants give birth to aliens. Let's be honest now because y'all know y'all didn't y'all didn't got to that side of YouTube and I'm not lying. Y'all know what the little alien baby? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, literally. You know, it's kind of like that. Like I don't I was browsing the internet after I had had a revelation about my natural hair. I had noticed that I had been neglecting my natural hair for about a year. A year. I literally was browsing the web, then of course I came across Natural Hair Journeys, which then I started browsing the web about stuff that would help my scalp because like I have psoriasis and really bad dandruff, really dry scalp, all of that. I started searching about stuff with that, came across Sulfur 8, then upon looking at videos about Sulfur 8, because there was a lot of Sulfur 8 testimonials, like y'all, Sulfur 8 is the truth. Sulfur 8 is the truth, I'm just gonna let you know that right now, period. I don't care what anyone has to say about the mineral oil, like I am a girl that uses grease, like period. Like, and no one's gonna stop me from doing that, but anyway. Yeah, there was a lot of testimonials on Sulfur 8, so then I started looking at more Sulfur 8 testimonials, and then I came across Sulfur 8 combined with Monistat, and then I was like, oh my God. I remember when this was a thing, like I remember back in the day when this all started, when people were using Monistat with the Sulfur 8, and it was like, I don't know, Know, like the vapor rub had came it was like all types of stuff that was coming and I, I used to think everybody was crazy but I was always interested I just always wanted to know like what would happen if I put that on my scalp as y'all know monostat is an antifungal so when you think of like the scalp and dandruff because like a lot of the things that cause um, bacteria on the scalp or that cause dandruff are related to fungus if that makes sense. Sorry, I'm a little tired, but I know if I was like awake right now, I know if I was awake right now, I would be able to articulate my words a little better, but I'm really not awake. Do you see these bags? Work with me. I had literally like flakes. I don't even know if I, that's not even dandruff. That's psoriasis, bro. That's a condition. Literally skin would be just falling off and hair would be coming off with it. And I was just like, bro, like I have to stop this. Yeah, huge problem with my scalp. And honestly, if I would have known I was gonna do this, and if I would have known that I was gonna get like the benefits that I got from doing this, whether it came from the Sulfur 8 or the Monistat, I really would have had like videos for y'all because my scalp was so bad. Like that little video, which I'll, I'll put it up here again because I'm about to tell y'all and do a little comparison, is it on a good day? I have to emphasize that. Like, because y'all, it was so bad. So once I combined the Sulfur 8 and the Monistat, that and started applying it to my scalp, I noticed I didn't have, bro, no dandruff, no dandruff. I was starting to get nervous. Like I was like, bro, there is nothing coming off my scalp. And I never seen that before. I was like, um, I don't even know if this is healthy at this point. Cause I'm so used to seeing stuff on my scalp. I'm like, bro, there is nothing there. Like there's literally just clean scalp. Oh, like I didn't have no itching, no dandruff. The scales and like the scarring that I had coming from like the psoriasis and when like the skin and the flakes would come off my um, forehead, gone. Sideburns, clear. I was like, bro, like, bro, why did I know about you back in the day? You feel what I'm saying? But this is my thing. So with that being said, my scalp was much healthier, but this is my thing. Am I saying that you have to go get Monistat to have a healthy scalp? I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm not at all because I really don't know if I can just contribute it to the monostat or if it was the monostat and the sulfur 8 because if y'all read the ingredients for sulfur 8, pro scalp itching and flaking due to dandruff. So this already had its own little, you know, its own juice, its own, pss, you know what I'm saying? But then when you add the monostat, you know what I mean? Because that's an anti funk what was, what's going on here? When you add the monostat, I don't know, it was like double the trouble. Like, I don't know what was going on, but I will tell y'all, 
I'm almost positive that the monostat definitely has something to do with it. I definitely think the sulfur 8, like if you really don't want to try monostat, I would do sulfur 8 with tea tree oil. But I'm telling y'all that monostat, bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It was definitely doing something. Because when I first started the sulfur 8, it was like a week before I had mixed it with the monostat. And I noticed that my scalp was clearing up, but I still had scales, like especially right here in the front. Like, you know what I'm saying? That raised skin. But as soon as, I'm talking about as soon as I started the monostat treatment, with the sulfur eight gone. It was to the point where I was like shocked because there was literally nothing there. And I was like, all right, let me just wash this for a while because maybe it was just that day. Nah, gee. Like I can even show you right now. Like look how clear it is up there compared to, whoo, boy. I knew there was a guy. Couldn't nobody tell me that. I already knew that, you know, we knew that already. Real quick before I tell you guys like how I applied it, what I mixed with the monostat and sulfur eight, how many times I applied it, things of that nature. I just wanted to also let y'all know another benefit. Of course, with clearing all of that nastiness off of my scalp, my scalp overall became healthy. With that being said, I've also been taking better care of my hair. So like I've been deep conditioning weekly. I've been making sure to use my dandruff shampoo. So my ketoconazole, you can also use that as well if you don't wanna, you know, get monostat because honestly, the monostat worked. But do I feel like you have to use monostat? No, I really feel like there's some other things that you could be using. Like like I said, tea tree oil and also like a dandruff shampoo, whether it be Sosin Blue or like medicated from the pharmacy shampoo, okay? So with my scalp being cleaner, um, what I noticed is my hair was just healthier. Like, I don't know, like my hair, my hair didn't feel dry. It just felt good. And I'm not saying it's coming from the monostat, it's probably coming from everything that I've been doing. But with the fact that I've been using the monostat and the sulfur eight to kind of clear my scalp and start with that base. Cause remember what I said, good base promotes hair growth. So with that being said, y'all, my hair has been growing like a weed. All I know is that when I started using the product, my braids were like loosening up like really quick. And like, y'all, like my braids are literally hanging off the scalp. And usually for a month, I do get a lot of growth. But when I was looking at the growth I was getting back when I wasn't taking care of my hair, which is why like, I don't know what the pinpoint and all, you get what I'm saying? Um, but comparing it to what it was then and what it was now, bro, like I could literally pull the braid over, like, you know what I'm saying? If the braid was right here, I could pull the braid up and pull it over my finger and still have some room. Like that's how much new growth I have. So um, I measured it, it was like what an inch and some change. So how I mixed it is I took um, sulfur eight, the original formula. I then scooped some of it out. Well, I had a baby one, let me tell y'all. I really the sulfur eight. So this is like my regular sulfur eight. <laughs> and then I'm gonna show y'all my monostat sulfur eight. Hold on. I had a baby sulfur eight so that I could mix like the other um, products in there. Then put like a good dom size, like not just a dom size, like a good dom size of three minute um, Aussie Moist Deep Conditioner. Y'all know about this. I then put peppermint oil, cedar oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, did I say peppermint oil? The peppermint oil, I'm telling you, I think it gives you a nice little tingle, nice little tingle. And basically what I did is I took the monostat tube, cut it in half, one half for the first part of the month, one half for the second part of the month, because honestly, I didn't know if I was gonna have side effects, which I did not. I ain't have no type of headaches, no nothing. What I did have though, the first day I did it, being that I had the sulfur aid with the monostat and then also the peppermint oil, bruh, my scalp was tingling so crazy. Like I felt like it was moving. At first I was like, bro, a headache is about to come, but like it didn't. It was literally just like some type of, it was so sensational. Like bruh, I was literally like, oh my God. Oh my God, and I fell right asleep. Like it felt so good on my scalp. So I didn't have no headaches. My hair didn't get dry. I don't know if it's because of what I mixed, but any type of side effect, bad side effect that everyone was talking about, I didn't have. So I hope that answers any questions about side effects. But anyway, back to the money, you know, back to the money, so boom. So I mixed all of that together and what I did after that is I just applied it to my scalp. I just greased my scalp, you know, ladies, y'all know how to do that, so boom. Greased my scalp, I did it for, so basically I greased my scalp three times a week twice a day. So let's just say if I started on Thursday. Thursday morning I would grease my scalp with the concoction. Thursday night I would grease my scalp with the concoction and then I would do the same thing on Friday and Saturday. Now come Sunday, well that would be my wash day. I would then wash everything out and then go back to greasing my scalp as regular with the sulfur eight because I still use the sulfur eight daily, like that didn't stop. So um, again on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I would be using sulfur eight to grease my scalp during the nighttime. And then come Thursday, I would then repeat that same um, process of using the monostat concoction with the sulfur eight twice a day for those three days leading into the wash day happening on Sunday. 
I hope that makes sense. Yeah, that's what I did. Did it for a month. Am I gonna do it for a month and a half or two months? I'm not. If I ever do come back to doing this, it would probably be three months, four months, five months down the line. Like it would not be anytime soon, only because with using Monistat on your scalp, it's really not supposed to go on your scalp, you get what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, it's an antifungal, so like, uh, you know what I'm saying? But like really, it was made for something else. But, um, So yeah, the thing about that, like as many people know, if you were to use Monistat continuously, like for more than a month, um, and use it for an extended period of time. One, it would probably stop working. You know, just like anything you would use like for an extended amount of time, like let's say, like if you drink coffee, you drink coffee one day and you're feeling all energized, but then you just keep drinking it, keep drinking it, and it don't even do nothing to you no more. It's like you're just a crackhead for no reason. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like that and then also, um, there's been studies that have shown that people can actually get an immunity to um, the product itself. So girl, if you get a yeast infection and Monostat is the main thing that you be using, you might you might be sh** of luck. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. So yeah, y'all, that was my experience with using Monostat along with Sulfur 8. I would definitely recommend using both of those products together. Um, a lot of people are, or not a lot of people, because I hope not a lot of people are doing this, because this isn't like something regular it shouldn't be, but some people are just taking the Monistat and putting it straight on their scalp. I would not recommend that. I would honestly recommend turning it into a grease so that you can grease your scalp and it can actually be used as something daily and then you can kind of dilute it with the other products. You know what I'm saying? I, th I just think this is a safer route if you were to actually experiment with this, just to like combine it with a whole bunch of other shit that you would normally put in your hair. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I do apologize for my quirkiness that may be in this video. Oh my gosh, we are out of frame. But y'all, like, I'm literally so tired. I don't even know how I'm, I'm like, doing this. Like, I don't even feel like this is me doing this. Like, I just feel like my body is doing one thing and, like, I'm somewhere else. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. That's it.